All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, and welcome to my first vlog of 2023. We. Oui. So, this video, we're gonna be going over my New Year's resolutions as well as other things. So, first thing I wanna talk about is the rearrangement of the room. So I'll give you a very scuffed room tour just to show you what I all did. So first I moved my coffee table with microwave and all that kind of stuff over to the side here. And I had to spread out the fridge and my uh, clothes hamper and all this other stuff to make room for it. So it's in its own little nook now. Used to be over there, but uh, now it's there. I moved my desk back to where it used to be, but instead of it facing out, it's facing towards the wall. And I just did this for logistical reasons, make it a bit easier. And I now have room over this away, a little past the table there, for my microphone to stand when I'm not in use. So that way it's uh, pretty easy access if I wanna go live or uh, whatever the case. And finally, if you didn't notice already, I moved the bed back to its original position. So it'll just be, again, easier for me to set up this camera because it's just where my chair would be. So I could just move the chair off and just plop this down for filming, move the mic a little bit closer and just makes for uh, easy access to uh, making vids. Plus it gave me a chance to um, vacuum in spots I don't normally vacuum in. So give the room a nice, good New Year's clean as per Japanese tradition. So new room, new year, new me. So starting off New Year's resolutions, um, the first one that I want to talk about is um, me really cutting down on drinking alcohol. So I noticed, especially in these past four months, that I was really hitting the sauce a little too hard. Times recording, I'm 37 years old, Sanju Nanasai. I uh, can't exactly hang like I used to back in my Navy days, uh, drinking wise. But also I noticed just drinking day to day isn't all that great for my physical or mental health. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna quit drinking entirely, but I'm just gonna quit on the day to day drinking. So I'll probably just reserve drinking for either the weekends or just hanging out with my friends. Usually both, <laughs> if we're being honest here. And the next resolution that I wanna talk about is finding a visa sponsored job. That's basically been my main job since uh, graduating from college back in August. So I can get that work visa and uh, continue my stay out here in Japan. Cause I've been here for over three years now and you know, despite a lot of uh, setbacks and uh, disadvantages here, um, overall, I like the country. It's a nice place to live, low cost of living, uh, good health care. Don't have to worry about getting a vehicle because I can just ride the train everywhere. And the third resolution that I want to talk to you guys about is making more content. I noticed, uh, painfully so, just how little content I made back in 2022. And I just want to apologize for the really gross lack of output last year. But last year at college, do be like that. I really noticed the lack of output from me on my channel through the compilation videos that I put together at the end of the year. And the Andy Japani series came down to a very paltry, like, what, 22 minutes of content all year? Like, what the hell happened, man? And hell, even the vlogs were down to like, I think less than two and a half hours for the entire year, mind you. And I'm seeking to resolve that. Now, obviously, first and foremost, got to get uh, the job to get the visa so I can continue my stay out here, use the job to pay to uh, support myself, be able to go on other adventures as well. So that's got to get taken care of first and foremost. I do want to be making more of that quality content that I keep on talking about. I want to do more live streams. Um, I want to do IRL live streams, but obviously right now, uh, IRL live streams are a bit limited for me due to data limitations as well as gear limitations, which again, once I get the full-time gig and start getting paid on the regular, I'm gonna get uh, some new equipment as well. I already have my eye on a few phones and then uh, as far as live streaming goes, definitely want to do more of that as well because I really do enjoy doing live streams, but you know, I just want to really 
change up the content of those as well. I don't want to just come on and just chat with you guys. Like I do enjoy chatting with you guys, don't get me wrong. But uh, I want to talk about other things as well and uh, do other types of content. And it could lead to uh, stuff that may be a bit different from what you're used to on this channel. So I just want to give you all fair uh, head of warning if I put out some, some weird shit. I mean, you know, <laughs> so if I put out some weird shit, it's uh, not going to be too out of left field. You're not like wondering like, what's going on? And plus, you guys seem pretty receptive to other types of content aside from Japan stuff. So, you know, like the whole Mr. Peachy thing. I know a lot of people have been wanting him to come back and I want him to come back. But, yeah, I just want him to come back uh, in the right way. So right now we're uh, working a little behind the scenes to uh, get that going. It's not going to be an overnight thing, of course, but uh, just working and uh, we're definitely going to make something happen. Obviously, with YouTube prioritizing short form content, that's something that uh, inevitably I'll have to end up doing as well. Uh, mostly just stuff from uh, my older catalog. Uh, the Q and Andy Japan series seems to be perfect for shorts form content because I can just cut up the individual questions into shorts. Uh, but I also want to incorporate some older content as well, just to really, you know, give it uh, some new life. And you know, especially for newer viewers who might not have been around when I was stationed in Yokosuka, or even when I first came back to Japan, you know, I just want to give those videos another chance as well. And then as far as the main content goes, the main bread and butter of the Andy Japandi channel, like I said, and have been saying for a while, to the point of where I'm blue in the face, I do have plenty of ideas. It's going to be a bit of a process as other things in the IRL fall into place. Once we get the ball rolling, once I get that full-time gig and have a more set schedule for work, I want to really make uh, content on a consistent basis. You know, I've been, I've been on this platform for going on 17 years as of uh, March coming up here. You know, I was always kind of putting everything off due to work or school or something else going on. But now that I have to worry about school, at least, I mean, obviously I still have to worry about work, but uh, school is in the back view mirror. Um, don't have to worry about that anymore. I could focus on the side, uh, my own content, because, you know, I've had a lot of ideas and I've pitched them to people before. You know, they kind of been met with some resistance or maybe the idea just wasn't for them. I still had that creative edge and that creative itch to, uh, to make stuff. And I originally thought that kind of my way to become a full-time creator would be to work for other creators. And I still believe in that, you know, whether it's as an editor, camera person, both, you know, once we get that established, I want to, you know, continue to build upon my own content and not have to rely on putting together other people's stuff as my only means of becoming a full-time creator. And again, like I've said before, because I'm positive I mentioned this, in an earlier vlog, I'd say overall, my goal is to become a full-time creator. And it's not gonna be an overnight thing. I understand that, so don't go freaking out in the comments. It's definitely gonna be a very much a work in process. It may take me years to even come close to realizing that, or it could take a few months. It's just a matter of putting in the work, showing up on time, and, uh, Carrying on smartly. And the fourth and final resolution that I have is to move to a new place. While I've been staying at this guest house for most of my time since being back in Japan, I'd say we're going on like, what, two and a half years? While it's perfectly fine guest house, great place, very convenient, very cheap as well, <laughs> most importantly. I'm um, gonna get my own private room, I can do whatever. I think it's just time, time to uh, to move on to uh, greener pastures, if you will. Obviously, this is all contingent on the job. I'm looking at different places, namely around the Shonan area. I can't quit you, Shonan. I just can't. You know, the property there is pretty cheap, and it's in a very low stress environment. I'm looking at a uh, property, namely in like the Fujisawa, Ofuna 
type area just because it's easier to commute to Tokyo that way while still being very close to the beaches and things. If I was able to work remotely, then I definitely move a lot closer to the beach. But I'd say overall, it's a pretty fair trade. You know, living by Fujisawa, I still get a lot of the uh, same creature comforts that I did living in uh, the bigger cities. But I'm still close enough to the beach to where I can go there and chill out. And I'm still within commuting distance to Tokyo. It's gonna be a lot longer than it is here in Kawasaki, but uh, it is still doable. And you know, I've talked with a lot of people who've uh, made the move down to Fujisawa. And while they say, yeah, there's a lot of disadvantages to uh, moving further south, the advantages are uh, much higher. And just the quality of life and the uh, difference in uh, mental health on a positive note is um, tremendous. And it's definitely worth the effort from what they've told me anyway. And hell, even just being in that area, hanging out with my friends or just by myself, you know, I just, I can't help but, you know, be drawn to that area. It's got me, <laughs> you know? Like I said, these resolutions aren't gonna be an overnight thing. I'm not gonna wake up on the beach tomorrow, but those are the goals that I'm gonna be working towards moving forward into this year, 2023. We. With that said, guys, um, this is Andy. It's not for now. As always, forever. We'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.